Okay, 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 okay. What's going on, man? Um, guess what I got for y'all? Another story. Now, this story might be a little bit confusing to y'all because, as y'all know, I did tell y'all previously that I have a girlfriend, and me and her have been together for eight consecutive years. Do you know what consecutive means? That means one after the motherfucking other. But what I didn't tell y'all is that over that course of eight years, we've probably broken up like 12 times. And we're just not together a couple months ago. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's a lot behind that. Um, Comment in the uh, comments below and let me know if y'all want to hear the rise, fall, conquer, and completion. Well, I don't know, because we ain't done yet. Let me know if y'all want to hear the backstory to my longest relationship ever. To me and my current girlfriend of eight years that have been on and off. If y'all want to hear that story, all the problems, the dramas, the ups and the downs, because that's actually a... We could write a book with that, but we not. I ain't gonna put it that far. We're just gonna keep it to YouTube right now. Maybe we can get a movie or a little sitcom, like How I Met Your Mom. It could be like um, How I Got on YouTube type shit. You know, something, anything, whatever. We can make a pop. But um, this story right here is going to be about how me. And the most recent girlfriend of mine that isn't Bay came to an end. Now, I ain't no name dropper, cause like I said, the city that I live in is super, super small, and there's a lot of haters, and people take things the wrong way, and I can fuck around and end up dead for some bullshit, for some funny shit. So I'm not even going, I'm not even gonna do that to y'all. The person that's watching this video that notices about them can't do nothing but laugh because like I've stated in previous story times and I'm gonna tell y'all again thought I had to sneeze all right whoo nope that wasn't it everything that I have to say in these stories are facts facts it really happened. It's the truth. I can't make this up. Okay? Here we go. Alright. So. The last chick that I was just talking to. Her name. We are gonna call her Jay. Alright? Now. I've known Jay. Ah, that sounds a little gay. We are gonna call her, uh... We gonna call her, we gonna call her R, okay? That works better for me. Okay, um, I've known R my entire life. For as long as my memory goes back, that's how long I've known this girl, all right? But she's older than me, by a couple years, actually. And so, um, she never really gave me the time of day or anything like that. And that's only not because she was older than me, but because her little brother is my best friend. So there was never, ever, ever technically supposed to be a time where we got together. But because I am who I am and she is who she is, we put all of that beside us. Now, I won't get into the beginning of how we know each other and how we met. I'm just gonna let y'all know the beginning of the relationship, the problem in the relationship, and how the relationship ended. Three key parts to make this story the best story that I have ever told y'all so far. All right, so how we got together, the problem, no, yeah. How we got together, the problem, and why, and why we aren't together anymore. How we got together. All right. One day, little bro called me. He like, hey, my mom and my sister is moving. Do you want to come help us? 
All you got to move is the couch. I'm only coming to get you because all we have to move is the couch. I'm like, bet. I think I was with bro. I'm like, yeah, man, Mike just need, bro just need me to, <laughs> bro just need me to move this couch. I'm about to go move this couch with bro. I'll be back. Okay, cool. You know, when a nigga tell you all I need you to do is help me put this couch on the U-Haul, he lying. One, there was no U-Haul, nigga. We was using the van. A, a, a regular old mom and pop soccer mom van. Like, it wasn't nothing spectacular. Okay, not a problem, though. Niggas have moved much more with a lot less. Okay, cool. So, we pull up. I'm moving the stuff. It's me... Bro, them, it's me and squad pretty much. Like, we deep. I know all these people. We just having a good time moving this stuff. Now, R was there because that's bro sister. She was moving out of the crib with moms. They was both moving, not together, but moving out at the same time. Whatever. So, I have been trying to get with R for a long time. Like I said, I've known this girl my entire life. After we get done moving all the stuff... R asked me if I was going to come get in her bed. So I'm like, man, stop playing or whatever out the band. I've been trying to talk to you for years, whatever. I know you playing. It don't even matter. I'm just going to say, yeah. So I'm like, bet, yeah, I'll come get in your bed, whatever, out the band. She like, bet, um, after we uh, drop all this stuff off at Mama house, then uh, you just come back to my house with me, and then um, you come get in my bed with me. We can lay down and go to sleep. I'm like, bet. I want you to know that if you let me get in your bed tonight, you're not going to sleep. Period. I don't care. I've been trying to talk to you for 20 years. Ever since I was a kid, I've been trying to get with you. And now you're telling me that after we drop this stuff off at your mom house, that I could come lay down with you and go to sleep? I'm not having it. So... We drop all the stuff off, we get back to her house, we put everything up, and we make the bed. And then what did I say after that? All right, I'm boss to go. I, she said, I thought you was coming to get in my bed. You didn't come to get in my bed? And I was like, no, I just came to help move the stuff. You know, because you playing. I know you don't want me to get in this bed with you because you already know what time it is. Uh, long story short, I was in there like swimwear, like coochie hairs, like deviled eggs. I was in there, okay? <laughs> I don't even know if that last one was a thing, but I was definitely in there, okay? I was in there like, I was in there like lemon pepper. Because you got to make sure it's lemon pepper in there. Or whatever the fuck, okay? Um, so I smashed, right? Took me 20 years. I, I, I was in that for about... Well, I saw the sun come up. Know that. Like, I was not letting it go, okay? <laughs> I'm not even trying to brag. Gee, I'm just letting y'all know. Like, this is somebody that was on, like, my bucket list. Like, this was somebody that I used to dream about as a kid like you know when you first started jacking off you didn't know what you was doing yeah i've been thinking about this pussy for a long time so gee i finally get in it gee and i and i i beat it to the fucking ground nailed it to the wall it was tragic sorry bro if you watch this video <laughs> i'm so sorry but anyway so I came up with this idea, like, hey, you already know my relationship that I just got out of Woo Out The Bell. I think that we should establish a set foundation before we call ourselves boyfriend and girlfriend. I really think that we should be friends because I know of you. I've been wanting to get with you. I've been wanting to do this for a long time, but I don't necessarily know who you are. So I feel like over the next we we'll after bam, we should, you know, just build something and get to know each other. That way, once the feelings do hit, we don't got to hide them or avoid them because, you know, we know they genuine. So she was like, cool, I ain't got no problem with that. I mean, you seem like a cool dude. You already know pretty much about me. I don't know if any of you are horoscope people, but I'm a Taurus. And she's a, sad, she's a cancer. She's a cancer. 
So I don't even know if those are supposed to coexist in real life or not. You know, I'm not big on horoscopes or anything like that. But I do know that cancer women are fucking crazy. This one included. All right, so that was how we got together. That was how it started. This was the problem. And it wasn't even really a problem. It was just something that I could not overlook, okay? It definitely got to me. All right. R is a very, very attractive person. And I look like this, like, all the time. I'm not normally a cute guy. I don't never got my hair done. She used to do my hair for me type shit. Like, I'm not really, like, I don't stand out to a lot of people. And this girl was somebody that if she walked past you, you was going to have to be like, you see what I'm saying? Like, she was cold. Oh my gosh, she was fire. She was so fire. And not, like none of my feelings to this day have changed about her. Yes, I'm in a relationship, very committed relationship. I do not cheat on my girlfriend. I don't. Anytime I've ever gotten pussy outside of our eight years, we were not together, okay? As I was getting mine, best believe she was definitely getting hers. And like I said, if y'all want to hear more about that, just drop the comments. Me and her will be happy to tell y'all about our eight years of pure fire i guess is what you can call it but that's another another story for another day so um she was a very very attractive woman is still is a very very attractive woman and i don't know if y'all date females that look better than y'all guys but when you walk into a function party get together soiree smoke session and the person you come in with looks better than you or is in a different social class than you, people are going to try you just so they can get to her. And it's not cool and it's not fair for the little niggas, okay? Because I'm a buck 50 soaking wet. And her, all of her baby daddies is at least 250. You know, like... Six, eight, like she don't fuck with little niggas. And that's a problem for me. Cause I can only fight little niggas. Like I can't I can't be beating up big niggas because I'm not a big nigga. You feel me? So like the the people that I were up against, it's just it's just horrible. Alright. This is the funniest thing in the world. Just side note, real quick. I came to Shorty House. As soon as I walked in, she was like, my baby daddy upstairs. I was like, oh, okay. So he came downstairs. I shook his hand. What's up, bro? Because I know him, and he thinks that I look familiar. I know who he is because I know who he used to talk to, and we went to school together. But like I said, I'm not one of them people that you would think twice about. So I knew of him at school. But he didn't know who I was. When I tell you who her baby daddy is, bro, you're going to be rolling. Anyway. I am sleep. Hold on. Cut this out. Who is it? <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> that was funny. I went over Shorty's house. Her baby daddy was there. I shook his hand, said, what's up, bro? He left. And then I was... I was gut searching. Fuck is you talking about? All right, but no, I'm not that dude. Like I ain't bragging about this shit or nothing like that. That's just, that was just funny to me because of the stuff that she used to tell me about him. But like I said, I'm not one of them people. That pillow talking was cool. She did some pillow talking. I might have let some things slide, but that's not what we're here for. I'm just telling a story. Um. So that was the problem. There was a lot, like, I never felt right or comfortable with her, but I knew that's where I wanted to be, or I thought I knew that's where I wanted to be. Like, she just, like I said, I, I was chasing Shorty for a long time, and then I finally got the chance, and it just didn't seem like something that I wanted to do. So. Hey, my bad. I got one more interruption. You All good. Right. I'm about to try to go catch a couple of these before I got to get up and take an eye out of school. Um, it's okay. scene two. It's in episode 10 folder. It's scene two. Alright, so yeah, so that was the, that was just, that was the part where I just didn't know, I didn't really feel comfortable with her, as, as comfortable as I felt around her, I didn't really feel comfortable with her, and that, like, really bugged me, because I, like, as much as I love my current girlfriend, I really, really wanted me and R to 
say that we did it right. Like I really wanted it to work to say that I, you know, I had my chance. I did it. It didn't work because of this. We still cool. I haven't talked to shorties since then, but this is why. And this is, all right. I've talked to many people on this and got a lot of different subjects and I got a lot of different angles on the subject. So this is why me and R currently do not speak anymore. She blocked me on all social medias. Me and her do not talk at all. Aren't even friends no more. Me and her brother, me and bro don't even talk no more. Like, I didn't think it was that serious, but y'all tell me in the comments below if I am the, the deadbeat, lowlife, retarded, stupid, dumb motherfucker that she say I am. Peep game. I was sitting at her house. It was her kid, Her it was her oldest kid, which is nine, her friend's kid, which is nine, um, and then her daughter, which is like, which is one, just had a birthday. All right, so those are the first three children that are in the house. It's her nine-year-old, her friend's nine-year-old, and her one-year-old, okay? So that's 19 already. You can vote. And then it's like a five-year-old, a four-year-old, a three-year-old, and then a one-year-old. I don't know. Ain't nobody over nine. Okay, period, point blank. I wake up at Shorty's house. Um, I don't see nobody that I came over there for. I don't have a phone at the time. My phone was broken. So I am sitting in a house with seven children and myself. I don't live in this house. None of these children in this house are my responsibility. I was not asked to watch any of these children. Nobody bothered to wake me up and tell me that they were leaving me with these children. There were, there were a lot of faults and variables in this situation that made me look like the bad guy. But this is exactly what happened. I woke up. It was... Damn near like two in the afternoon. I look around. I don't see anybody that I came over here to see. Like I said, nobody called me. I don't have a phone, so they couldn't call me. Nobody woke me up, told me they was gone, leaving, nothing. They left seven children in the house unattended with an unconscious adult. Well, I was awful all the time. It don't even matter why I was asleep. I was asleep, okay? Was not fit at the time to watch anybody's children. What did I do when I woke up? I left. There were seven children in the house at the time. Two nine-year-olds, a one-year-old for sure. And then it was like a five-year-old, four-year-old, a three-year-old, and two-year-old. Like, I don't, I don't know all ages, but... The two nine-year-olds make up an adult. I have three children, two here and one on the way. My eight-year-old knows how to work the gas stove, um, can microwave, make noodles, see her, like, can feed herself, know not to answer the door, boy, has her own phone, can make phone calls. My eight-year-old is a very sophisticated, child learned how to take care of herself at a young age i trained my children to not need their parents okay i thought that we were raising kids to be better off without us at eight years old my daughter is already smarter than me so i figured with two nine-year-olds in the house Y'all should be putting kids in the bed. Like, y'all should be running bath water, setting plates at the table like that. I thought that the level of maturity in the house 
was on a totally different level. Come to find out, I was wrong. Now, this happened on like a weekend. I didn't get the fuck you, you ain't shit text for like three or four days later. And then I didn't even read it. All I saw was the the thumbs up and the peace sign emojis that mean, nigga, you good, have a nice life. So I was just like, oh, bitch, fuck you too. So I literally have not said anything to her since then. But I need to know in the comments below if you think what I did was bogus or not. My only thing is, I don't think it was. Like, I don't, I can't see anything wrong with me getting up and leaving a house full of children that aren't mine. Like, I don't, I don't see no problem with that at all. If you wanted your kids watched and attended to, you should have woke me up and told me to watch and attend to your kids. Seeing as how I didn't have no kids at that house and then none of them kids get no fuck about me being there, I left their ass by themselves. <laughs> by me and shit. <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't know what to do, but that was that, man. That's that's how it happened. I'm I'm sad at the way things ended between us, but I'm kind of glad that I ended it when I well, I'm glad that it ended when it did because I was not comfortable in the relationship whatsoever. All right. That was that was nuts. It was definitely nuts. But that was story time, guys. I got a lot more. Let me know in the comments below if you want me and my girlfriend of eight years to sit down and break our whole life story down into segments so y'all could understand how we rockin', all right? Like, like I said, the girl that that was about, that's a recent situation, but me and my girlfriend have been on and off for the past eight years. We got two kids here and one on the way, which is crazy. And we've been on and off for eight years. So, I mean, it's it's a lot behind it. If y'all want to know the story, I don't got no problem with telling y'all. Story times be lit. Story times get the most plays on my channel anyway. So, if you enjoyed this story time and you want to hear another story, comment below. Next story time is going to be me. And my now girlfriend slash always been, technically, kind of. Um, we can sit down let y'all know how we got together. We can let y'all know about the kids. I can let y'all know about my son. A lot of y'all don't know about my son. Um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm going to try to keep hitting y'all with videos, man. Like, I know it looked bad. I get on here, upload a couple videos, and disappear. No, nah, man, that's a lot going on in my life right now. And YouTube, if y'all will hurry up and monetize me... Then I can sit around here and do this all the time. But because I'm not getting paid for these videos, I still got to make my money. So I'm out here grinding. But until then, hit me up.